Welcome to the AI Guide, where we focus on the human impact of AI. So, good news for drivers. The driving experience is about to change for the better, thanks to AI. We've got two great articles for you today, courtesy of Future Ride. First, let's talk about what's coming for the driver soon on new models, which is called a heads-up display. Key vehicle information is shown on the windshield at the bottom of the driver's field of view. The display is transparent. The new feature means the driver no longer must take their eyes off the road to adjust heating and cooling or what they're listening to. So there's a company called Series Holographics, which just showed the world's first what they call M-Plane HUD heads-up display with multiple displays. So prior HUDs, and these are all new, even the prior ones, just had a section of information in front of the driver. This is different, as you'll hear in a second. So Series Holographics today demonstrated what it says is the world's first in-plane heads-up display implementation with multiple separate transparent displays of content on one windshield. The triple configuration transparent display solution is being shown at the Driving Vision News interior workshop this past week in Köln, Germany. So this is hot off the press is a major milestone demonstrating that we can extend our transparent display heads-up display solution across the windshield to save time, money, and provide a wider variety of UX options for drivers and passengers. So that was Andy Travers, the CEO of Holographics. With our HoloFlex technology, OEMs can transform any windshield into a bright, Full color and compact multi unit HUD where safety, operational, navigation, and infotainment content can all be shown in a clear, non distractive manner, regardless of external lighting conditions. So, as you'll see in the next article, that solves many of the problems right now for this technology. Because of the off-axis viewing angles required, the only way to achieve this is with holography. This is all AI-driven, by the way. So Ceres is headquartered in Livingston, Scotland, specializing in the design, digital mastering, and replication of next-generation thin-film holographic optical elements, which they call an HOE, for transparent display and augmented reality applications. We'll talk about AR in just a second. With expertise in photonic optical systems and holographic polymer films, the company enables customers to create immersive visual experiences for mass market applications in automotive, transportation, aerospace, and wearable technologies. That's where we're headed in the next story with AR. Each display can be configured separately at specific off-axis viewing angles within the windshield to show the information or content for the specific user, meaning a different section for the driver and a different section for the passengers. None of this obscures the road ahead. So this is really going to be a breakthrough in driving because everything you need to see will be displayed right in your line of sight as the driver in the windshield. You'll never have to look down again. This is a big change. Series Holographics design methodology tailors a solution for the specific geometry and windshield curvature of the intended vehicle, as well as defining the projector specification. The projector is a laser. The software-based mastering approach is said to be a dramatic improvement over traditional hologram recording techniques. Those require the manufacture and adjustment of large physical optical hardware. Series method allows rapid customization reformatting of TDHUDs based on customers' unique specifications. What does that mean? In plain English, it means they can tailor this thing quickly to the needs of different car companies. The machinery produces each of the HOEs in a single piece of windshield-sized film that is laminated inside the windshield, ready for inclusion in a car. By the way, 
This is extremely difficult to do. The company I'm just working for is just bringing this technology online for a different application, but this is hard to do. The windshield is coupled with compact projector units from suppliers to produce a full colored wide field of view transparent display HUD, improving safety, comfort, and UX for its customers. By enabling up to three displays in a single sheet of film, the solution saves cost and simplifies the complete manufacturing process required to implement a multi-display transparent HUD. In such a configuration where information is displayed specifically for the intended viewer, the driver could see essential operational information in a non-distracting way, as well as important safety alerts and situational information from a second display. The third display aimed at the passenger could act as a connected screen for entertainment, work, or destination content. So what they have done, which I know firsthand from where I work, is greatly simplify this whole thing because if you were to take three different structures that had to be laminated to the windshield, that's next to impossible. This is really the only feasible way to do it without causing manufacturing problems. So that's the first article. Next up, we have a new use for an older technology that has been looking for a problem to fix for a long time. What are we talking about? AR augmented reality. So this article also from Future Ride is called Augmented Reality Adds Immersion to Heads-Up Display. So that heads-up display we just talked about is two-dimensional. What they're going to use AR for is to make them three-dimensional, which is epic. And I'll explain that. The increased use of technology while driving, coupled with proliferation of dashboard and center information display touchscreens, have added a driver distraction in recent years. No kidding, man. <laughs> There are so many things to adjust, especially on that flat screen between the seats. Now, it's, it's almost impossible to do while you're driving safely. However, some automotive experts are looking to heads-up displays, which we just talked about, with great expectations that presenting information directly in the driver's line of sight could aid in the quest to reduce driver workload and the need to look away from the road. So this is a different application than an AR one I've talked about before, which is, let's say you have a pair of AR glasses and you're a tourist in Paris. As you walk by every building, it'll tell you what the building is and then even give you history of the building if you want it. There's so many cool uses of AR coming. This is for drivers. Enter AR. HUDs, augmented reality HUDs, that have increased immersiveness, providing imaging depth and extended field of view while signaling key areas of interest on the road. So let's say you're driving through a major city. It's going to point out the stuff you might be interested in coming up a block or two ahead on each side of the road, like Starbucks, like McDonald's, whatever it is. We're going to see that AR effect, which gives depth of field, field of view, and points out things coming up on the street ahead of time. This is like a Waze app on steroids. So this is great news for drivers. It's all driven by AI, and it will completely change the driving experience, especially at the high end of cars in the next five years and then pushing down into mass market over 10 years. So if you like this episode, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon. We really need your support. TED AI 2024 is coming up in October. I need your Patreon support to be able to go there and provide live updates, just like last year at the first TED AI. But I have to have your support to do this. Thanks so much. Have a good week. Take care. Bye.